Welcome back to Let's Play Brigandine, The Legend of Porsena. I've tallied the votes, and in this moment I have to... Oh, I did not have the window selected. I am a genius. Yes, we had a two-way tie between Keralat and Leonia. So since Leonia is slightly more challenging and... Well, it can actually be kind of annoying to play with Carillon if Almechia decides to be aggressive and blocks you off. So let's go to Leonia before the static kills us. And I know what I'm doing. I'd only recommend easy if you've never played the game before. In my last recording of this, there was, like, no text crawl here either. I'm wondering if, Le if Le Leonia doesn't have an opening text crawl. It just goes straight to the plotty part. Oh, yes. This is the Kingdom of Almechia. The capital of Logres. I'm sure that will remain the capital of Almechia for years to come. I'm not going to be doing voices for these characters because there's way too many for me to ever keep track of, so I'll just give you dialogue time. Posing fellow there, isn't he? Vaynard, the ruler of Norgard. You'd never have guessed that without me telling you. Zemeckis, the commander of the Almechian forces. Badass. But as we pointed out, this obviously isn't going to go well. lie by this masked skull man. We won't find out in normal mode. It, it's been too long for me to attempt hard mode. But hard mode allows you to get the final ending, as it were. Sorta, of, it's tricky. Back when I first played this game, we actually had no idea how to do it. It was kinda... crazy. You have to fulfill a whole bunch of plot related things dependent on your nation, as well as beat, Z beat Zemechia last, or Asgari's Empire. I do have to go with Zemechus here, it's better to go out fighting than just sit and wait. Pigs! All of you pigs! Reminds me of Luca Blight. Yeah, probably, yeah, the largest, most powerful nation suddenly engaging in civil war. Might not be good. Death! Death to all who oppose us! I could have sworn there was supposed to be a text crawl here, though, no matter what. The problem is the nations do change it depending on, well, what nation it is, so it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. And us! Leonia! Talus is, of course, the capital. And this is... Well, we're the whole nation, but this is effectively us. Lioness. 
the Dalai Lama Pope, and kill off her childhood friend. And get ready, just get used to the English now. It, it's not the greatest translated game ever, but it's not horrible. He's referring to Rune Knightery, really, which is what every character in the game that we can use or fight is. English, English, reading all the English. Paternus is a badass. And also, he's the bishop. Archbishop, I think, though I'm not sure if they refer to him as that. I wonder what could possibly have happened that demands the oracle's attention. I don't say. I do wonder where he got the name Esgaris from. It's kind of weird. So he was the general, not a minister. This was minister of beating people up. I mean. Yeah, Kilof is good people. And there was more of that English. You are lioness. You are lollipop. Uh, that, that was awful. I'm sorry. Yes. Here is what we have here. We have. Well, we are more than these three or four people. Okay, what we've got here, over here, is their rune capacity. The right number is their maximum, and the left is the current they have equipped. Lioness has an angel. She's got... These are the experienced units. The Pegasus, I think, yes. The Pegasus, Phoenix, and Holy Griffin are our experienced units. Every nation starts with a couple. Some, some like Almechia, get like a level 20 dragon. It all varies. Now, the first thing we need to do is do check out our characters here. The Queen, as it were. Lyeth Fail. I forget what Lyeth Fail is, even. But it's, it's seven... It's a range of seven hexes. It's very long. I think. No, wait, that's... I'm confused. I was thinking of something else. She has a very nice spell set, but she's too low level to really make much use of it yet. Because they cost so much M MP, I think it was like... Yeah, see, pretty much the Dalai Lama. How much MP does she have? Yeah, I mean, she's got a good amount. But she can't double cast Holy Word yet or anything. Kilo, her friend. The stars above his head are indicating class mastery. If he he's able to change class, a lot of things are not the not the leaders of the nations, except in special circumstances. Yeah, he's he's a nice guy. Paternus is a third tier unit. He is very powerful. He is going to be the vanguard of our biggest, most deadly pushes. I mean, see, look at that. Look at all these spells he's got. Yeah, he's he was a bishop, but now he's a cardinal, and see. And Azmuth. He's a decent guy.
Yeah, perfect man in this case is kind of derogatory, I think. Oops, wrong button. I forgot what button cancels. Alright. Over here, we've got a couple of cleric girls. She can change her class once she gets high enough level, because she's an expert of this class. Sophia, another expert cleric. It's basically gain a level when you become an, gain another star towards expertise. It's not hard. Yeah, the I forgot what was it I was thinking of saying. Halo is kind of a it's kind of a luck buff spell. And here is our first border. So here we've got Doms. We have Isfas, a monk. He's essentially a fighter character who decided to go with the whole priesty magic thing. Because he can heal himself there, say, or others. And remove negative statuses. Charlene, the Lancer. Forget what Fog does. And Longbar. He is on his way to becoming a Paladin, which is a very, very badass class. Yeah, I can just imagine him being the guy who's like, Hey, Your Highness, I've got a great idea. No Pants Day. Chantel is a very noob guy. He is probably not going to get much use in this game, just for because of there's other uses for low-level guys. And Verizon, another monk, a cool-looking monk, with bald and fur. But yes, now that we've done that, we need to do some rearranging. We are going to be sending Lioness north. I think we're going to send Killoff with her too, really. Asmit, I'm going to be using the quest mechanic first off. So we don't need anything from him. Look at what we can... Ah, right. Kilov can change freely between various classes. I forgot that you can, just like, if you meet the minimum stats. We need to summon a couple more things here. I forget what we can get. Yeah, let's summon one more angel. This is the polygonal models. They look a bit better when the emulated thing. Yeah, I know this is a bit slow at the moment. We have to get things the way we want them, as it were. Ah, there we have the problem. See, he can't have all that. I should de-equip his almighty ring. And let's 
give it to Lioness. Because she is going to need it. Now first off, let's send Lioness up here to Damas. And Kilo along with her. Turnus, we're going to send down here, which is going to get... We need his power there. And as for the remainder of things that are going somewhere, we're going to send them on quests. Quests have random rewards. So it's... Anyway... Go! Alright, now is the attacking phase. I forgot it goes into phases. So let's see what's been moved around here. Next turn, we're going to try to take Aston, as well as potentially up here, but I'm probably going to wait around on that, because... I'm going to be showing you a battle with the animations on, just to show you why I'm going to be turning them off. Oh no! You see, quests can do that. Azmit is now slightly better. Ooh. Yes, characters will occasionally talk to each other when they're a lot when they're all in the right place. with the King of Norgard? Yes, walk into that trap! Now that that's out of the way... Join or die! Lioness, all your base are belong to Vaynard. Yeah, just look at how 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 apathetic he is about that. Because you're only level three, it'll pass with time. But if we don't fight, you won't gain experience. Well, let's get organized around here. We're gonna put our stuff on Isfas. Just because he's good at the moment. We can worry about buffing up people like Loganborg later, but for now we need to get things all That worked like a charm, there we go. They get more runic capacity as they gain levels too, so.
Let's quest up the people who are not being used for active attack. You can get some really awesome stuff by a questing, too, so... Let's order stuff around. I should have perhaps sent other things down here. What can we summon down here? It's been ages since I've used a ro well... I don't even remember how rocks work. I know they eventually turn into phoenixes. And let's summon up a couple djinn. They're kind of artillery, and like most other units in the game, they cannot actually counterattack. But in, a, in reverse, they cannot be counterattacked, so it's... Oh, it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, I mean, look at look at Paternus here. He's got room for more. We don't have the money for it right now. But yes, with that done. Do the moving. Now we're going to assess what's been moved around. Ulster, Daffy, and Miguel, eh? And up here. Ooh, one of their notable units. want to attack first. I'm gonna launch a preemptive attack against these uh, against what you want the 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 Escalado. Leon's invading and got forced back. The Battle of Aston. Behold. They're defending, so we go first. I think we may just always go first. I forget. Honestly, it's it's been so long. Oh right, that's what that or aura is. Right, the aura is Paternus. You could call it if you've ever played War Machine, which this game has a lot of similarities to. That's his control area. It's how it gives when you're in one of when you're in his group, battle group really, I mean. Oh yeah, it's speed based, right. Paternus is just so powerful that Also it's move or action, so. I think we're going to be pushing the Giants forward as our advance force. You don't have to keep them in the control area. 
they'll work just fine out of it, they just get a bonus while within it. Right, it raises the experience gained by things. I think, or something. Oh, right! Yeah, that's what it does. Our ultimate goal here is to beat down Ulster and potentially surround that giant. The Gygus. It's hard to explain how it works, but there's a chance to capture enemy units. Ideally, we don't actually want to kill it. When a unit is killed, unless it's a rune knight, they're dead. Rune knights just get wounded. And can't do anything for a bit. They get sent back to the capital. No wait, casting that casting XP, so I don't know what it Yeah, I forget what it does. It just happens to be some kind of buff and I'm just gonna talk and ramble like I know what I'm doing. Cause I used to. Babble 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 babble, babble. I like to talk talk babble babble. Well, it's kind of catching too. The Bishop of Ulster. gonna get attacked. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, they're not terribly accurate. They are tough, though. more inaccurate, the giants or the golems? Golem a punch! <laughs> 